Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Now, why am I showing y'all these Coke cans? Because we need to make a sauce for these meatballs with a twist. Let's get it popping. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle. It's nothing like the sizzle in a pan or a pot, y'all. So what am I doing with this Coca-Cola? I am taking it, and I am making a Coke reduction with it. This sauce pot was already on high heat, so let's get it going, but I got another twist, y'all. What? what? Y yeah, those are canned peaches. Yes, canned peaches. That is on high heat as well. And you see we have the Coke. It's running. It is running. It's rolling. It's at 212. It looked like it's beyond 212, but it's at 212, y'all. Rolling boil. And it's uncovered. You see the steam coming off of it. When you want to reduce something, make sure that it's uncovered. All right? So that steam can rise and be released. That's the only way it can reduce. If you cover it up, it will not reduce. All right? So this took about an hour to make. But technically, it took me about 90 minutes to make this in total because I had to simmer everything at the end all together, all right? And just let that boil. I used half the can of syrup because I did drain the peaches so that way the peaches did not stick to the bottom. Now, let's work on these meatballs, y'all, okay? Now, these meatballs were for about 75 to 100 people. And this is about 13 pounds of ground beef. We're going to get it mixed up. We're going to get it going, all right? Notice you didn't see me put the sea salt in it because I use more of the flavor agents than the sea salt. The flavor agents are more important than that salt, y'all. That is fact, okay? So we're going to get it mixed up, mixed up well, okay? And you're going to see a few differences and how I make these meatballs compared to what the traditional recipe is. We're gonna go with a standard panko. This is cornstarch, not flour. I'm using cornstarch. It works great as a binder too. Coconut oil, no egg. I am using coconut oil in these meatballs. The coconut oil turns out phenomenal and it adds a wonderful flavor to the meatballs too as well. It blends in perfectly with the meatballs. And you'll notice that how I'm mixing these meatballs. Like I said, this is 13 pounds. It may not seem like it, but you just have to take your time, go through the process, go through the process if you're cooking for the masses. If you're not, if you're cooking for your family, then you go through the process that you normally would go through and just try out the coconut oil versus the egg, all right? You really don't need anything in a meatball to form them, but you see how the meat is not sticking to my hands because of the coconut oil that's in it as we are shaping these meatballs, all right? Now, 13 pounds of meatballs. That's a lot of meatballs. And each meatball is one ounce. Oh my goodness. Sizzle half a can in the pan, y'all. Half a can in the pan. Now, we're going to go ahead and drop these meatballs. And technically, you want to go all the way around the edges and then fill the center. But I'm cooking for the masses, and I am literally moving a million miles an hour. The video is sped up, y'all. Put a little bit more Coke in there, all right, so it doesn't stick. And then let it cook. I pan seared these meatballs for about five minutes on high heat. And at the same process, I am continuing to simmer or actually I am continuing to boil the peaches to your left while forming these meatballs right here so after about five minutes of searing the meatballs, I cover them so they can steam as well. And after that, I took the meatballs off and I put them on a sheet tray. And then I baked the meatballs to finish them off. That is a three-step cooking process. Pan sear, steam, and then oven bake. Now, notice, guys, look at this right here. This is 
the Coca-Cola peach reduction. And then we'll have a Coca-Cola peach glaze. And I mean, it turns out phenomenal. How soda can work with fruit. It is phenomenal how fruit and meat can work together. It's just so many ways to be creative and use what's in your mind and how creative you can be. So take this and look at the reduction. Look at this reduction. It turned out phenomenal. Now we are at the glaze phase. Notice, the food is always the star. Always the star. And they loved it. Take a look at the plate. This was a peach theme event. They were holding a peach theme event. And we wanted to make sure everything had some peaches on it for them. That is a peach and feta baguette that Chef Taylor made. And it turned out phenomenal. Let's go over the peach and feta baguette. As you see, Chef Taylor is getting that feta cheese on it. We used the same peaches from the reduction that we made that we did not add into the Coke. The peaches were held separate. You saw them cook separate. So we chilled those peaches completely. The baguettes were coated in coconut oil too as well. We did a peach dump cake and it turned out phenomenal. As chefs for seniors, we love the senior culture. We love to take care of people's mothers, their grandmothers, their grandfathers. This is Chef Taylor. As you see, she's over there smiling as she normally does. And we have Dr. Baylor, the franchise owner, who also is a phenomenal friend of mine too as well. This is what it's all about as chefs for seniors. And I love being the executive chef for chefs for seniors in DFW. Now, if you want to try this for dinner for your family, this is what you do. Oh, y'all, this is how the meatballs turned out when they came out the oven. You see that? That, oh, that caramelization on the meatballs was phenomenal. Oh, because we cooked them in Coke, y'all. This ain't got none of the sauce on it. They were cooked in the Coke. Look at those meatballs. They were cooked in that Coke. Mm-hmm. And you see, I have them on the rack, so we, we get rid of all the extra grease. And this is the setup. This is the plate up right here. I mean, phenomenal with that peach. You'll be surprised. Those peaches just blended in with that ground beef. They blended in with those meatballs. Mm-hmm. Yes, they did. Surprise your family, your friends. Do a catering event with this right here. Golden Yukon mashed potatoes and green beans. Oh, look at them green beans, y'all. But the meatballs was a star. Thank y'all for tuning in. And be sure to subscribe, y'all.